Okay, so this is the grave of Archibald Pitcairn, Dr. Archibald Pitcairn. You, you don't need to be ashamed if you've never heard of him, he's fairly obscure. But uh, he was one of the first converts to Newtonianism. He was a practicing physician here in um, uh, Edinburgh, and indeed he was one of the, along with Robert Sibbald, he was one of the professors in the uh, medical, the first professors in the medical school who never gave any lectures. Uh, so, um, <laughs> But uh, he was an early convert to Newtonianism and he was so en enthralled by it that he tried to incorporate Newtonian principles into medicine. He then got a job at the University of Leiden, which I mentioned earlier, um, because you know, Leiden was a, a, a leading uh, medical school. Pitcairn went there um, and he only taught there for about 18 months before his wife decided she didn't like the Netherlands and wanted to come back to Scotland, so they came back to Edinburgh. Um, but during that time, uh, Pitcairn was very, very influential. He did teach there, you know, he, he didn't teach here, but he did teach there. And his teaching proved to be very influential. And Leiden, shortly afterwards, appointed a man called Hermann Boerhaave. They didn't overlap, but Hermann Boerhaave is famous now in history as making the uh, Leiden Medical School the sort of leading school in Europe. And lots of the uh, people who, who were famous in the, subsequently in the Edinburgh Medical School were all trained by Hermann Boerhaave in Leiden. Uh, now, <laughs> I mean, I think that the reason why Hermann Boerhaave was so uh, influential himself was because when he got to Leiden, they were still all abuzz with the Newtonian medicine that uh, Pitcairn had been teaching. Uh, and Boerhaave, is, his reputation is that he was the man who introduced Newtonian ideas into medicine. But I think it was Pitcairn who gave that idea to the people in Leiden. They didn't overlap, but Boerhaave must have picked it up from people that um, were there when Pitcairn was there. But that's only speculation on my part, you know. But anyway, certainly um, Pitcairn was a very, very influential early Newtonian, uh, and so was Colin McLaurin, you know, so... Uh, you know, Newtonian, uh, Newtonianism seems to have spread out from Edinburgh. I mean, the first, um, the first Newtonian professor uh, at um, Oxford University, Cam uh, Newton himself was in Cambridge, the first um, uh, professor in Oxford was uh, one of the Gregories, I've forgotten which one it is, Richard Gregory or... James Gregory, I think, James Gregory, yeah. Uh, he became a professor at Oxford teaching Newtonian ideas, but he came from here, and he and uh, Archibald Pitcairn were close friends, and indeed it was James Gregory who taught Pitcairn the maths that he needed to know to read and understand Newton's Principia Mathematica. Yeah, so.